started with movies in Wonderland. Yeah. Holiday edition. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. What's up, everyone? It is December, and that means that everyone on YouTube is doing Vlogsmas, Christmas related videos and hauls and stuff. This channel is absolutely no different. So welcome, 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 welcome to my first movie review. Um, this channel is supposed to have movie reviews. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but I'm going to do one now. This one is very Christmas related. Um, this movie review is not sponsored in any way whatsoever. Um, I have decided to do holiday move reviews this month because it is December. It is that time of year where every single channel that you turn to, if you're still using traditional TV and paying Brick TV or, or uh, Spectrum or Comcast or whoever your regular television provider is, money to just be accosted by holiday videos all over every single day in the month of December or if you're on Netflix you have that nice little cue that says holiday movies or Hulu or whatever service whatever streaming service there are holiday movies playing somewhere somewhere around you there's Christmas music playing everywhere and we're gonna have like a whole bunch of content about this this month because this is a media channel you're not going to see my short films, but you're also going to see me review other movies and things like that and stuff and stuffy stuff and stuff. So let's get to it. Um, the first movie review that I'm doing this month is called The Spirit of Christmas. I found this on Netflix, but apparently it was a TV movie made for a Lifetime or Hallmark. I don't know which. But I know it's one of those channels. Um, so that's good. Um, now, this movie was very interesting. It's one of those romantic holiday movies that has like a mystery in it. It's over this on Netflix, but apparently it was a 2015 made for TV movie. You tell us to make a TV movie, and I'm going to get into that, like, really quick. Um, I did not know how to exactly describe it, and, um, so I went on imdb.com, not sponsored, and found the description that they have for it, and they say that, um, the summary is, Kate is a workaholic lawyer that has three weeks to get a haunted bed and breakfast appraised and sold. Um, the uncooperative manager claims that a spirit who lives there it will not approve. When Kate's possible promotion is writing on accomplishing this task, she checks in and haggles with the foreseen Christmas spirit, Afrosean Christmas spirit, who suspiciously seems awfully solid for a ghost. Yeah. Awfully solid for a ghost. Now, follow me here. Kate, who is played by... <laughs> Kate, who is played by Jean, Jen, Jean, Jen, 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 Jean, 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 I don't know. I'm like, totally screwing up your name and I know that it's Jen. Lily is sent to this in by um her law form her law blah, 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 blah. words words Asman words her law firm that holds the trust to this um the trustee to this property because the final um family member that and was owned by has passed um so now the trust owns the property 
and they need to get it appraised and sold within three weeks. That is by New Year's. <sighs> That's a task in itself. But then they send an appraiser out and she gets there. At, but before they send the appraiser out, they find that it's a very difficult task to get this thing appraised because apparently there's a haunted spirit. There's a spirit that haunts the inn that's trying to keep it from getting sold. Follow me here. So they send another appraiser out there. She's supposed to meet him out there to get the property appraised. As soon as she gets out there, he is hightailing it out of there. I mean, he looks like his he looks like his drawers got set on fire with gasoline and a blowtorch and he's running out of the building gets in his car looks at her like hey, you're on your own and drives away doesn't even say anything to her he must not like his job I take it he does not appreciate the check at all like yeah so uh Rafferty is the innkeeper's name. He's played by Robert Welsh and he basically tells her, hey, um, we're getting ready to close for the holidays. She asks why. It's tradition. A bed and a bed and breakfast closes for the holidays and that's tradition. That's like a busy time of year for bed and breakfasts. Why would you close during the holidays? Turns out <laughs> the ghost that resides there likes it like that. He likes the solitude. Now the aforementioned ghost name is Daniel. And Daniel is played by Thomas Bud. Bolden, 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 I do not know how to pronounce your last name, I'm sorry Mr. Bolden, I think I just said it, I'm not sure, I'm going to look into that, uh, it's played by Thomas Bolden, and Daniel is cursed to be a solidified human being type ghost for 12 days, cute the 12 days of Christmas here, Yes, he is cursed to be the solidified human being for 12 days during the year, and that's at Christmas time. So, from the 15th to 24th, he is straight solid. Just, oh, excuse me, correct myself. The 12th to the 15th, he's straight solid, just flat solid ghost. Um, and the innkeeper's like, you can't stay here. Um, I have a key. I'll stay. I'll let myself out. No ghost is going to run me out of here. And screw my promotion. Basically, that's what Kate says. So, the innkeeper is like, okay, well, don't say I didn't warn you. And he leaves. He leaves her alone. She types in the code. Ghosty boy comes home. And screws with the alarm system. Basically, turns it off. And she wakes up and she sees him. He's like, oh, I want you to leave. Picks her up. She's like, I'm not leaving. I have keys. You're trespassing. I'll call the cops. Picks her up, takes her outside, puts her on the porch, closes the door in her face. Opens the door again, throws a blanket on her, and then closes the door again. She calls the cops. Cops comes, and the cop is like, there's nobody here. Are you sure there's no? Are you sure somebody was in the house with you? Okay, whatever. Just make sure you put the alarm on. She puts the alarm on. She goes and takes a shower, locks the doors. He unlocks the doors, goes in her room. After turning the alarm off again, she and says, "I want you to leave. I don't wish to hurt you, but I do want my solitude." She's like, "I'm not leaving." Grabs her phone. Goes in the bathroom, locks the door, calls the cops. He disappears. Cop come, looks at her like she's completely crazy. Ugh. 
the cop leaves. And the ghost comes out and she's like, stop doing that. You're going to keep calling the cops? And she basically just like, I'm not leaving. You're not running me out of here. Um, try as you may, you're not going to do it. I'm staying here. So, they just back and forth for a little bit. And then the inn owner comes back and he's like, okay, you're obviously not staying. So, what can we do to get you to leave? Daniel and uh, Kate's like, well, I'm not leaving because he's here. Well, the innkeeper knew about Daniel, um, but he did not know why Daniel was there. Apparently, this is the town's oldest mystery. Nobody knew what killed him. Nobody knew um, a whole bunch of things about this whole mystery. Um, so, they made an agreement. Find out what killed Daniel. Daniel can move on and they can sell the end. And if they don't find out, she'll leave and Daniel will be left with his solitude that he so desperately wants. So, they carry on for the next few weeks trying to figure out this mystery. And, um, they start to discover reason, they start to discover slowly over the next 12 days why Daniel was there, why, um, he stuck there, and try to get him to move on. Turns out that he was killed by someone who was very, very close to him, and his curse was actually a wish slash miracle that the woman that he was in love with and wanted to marry when he was alive um, made because he promised her 12 days before he left to go do what he was doing that he'd be there Christmas Eve but he never made it because the person that killed him killed him when he was just feet from the property feet from the house on Christmas Eve and he was cursed to just stay on the property and never leave um, especially for those 12 days um, now it's, a, it's, it's really it's really heartwarming and endearing movie to watch and it's one of those movies that you watch with somebody snuggled up on the couch with a cup of cocoa after you finished decorating the tree or you finished opening presents or it's Christmas Eve and you just want to chill out with your significant other and just watch a really corny <laughs> holiday romantic movie and this would be a corny holiday romantic movie to watch um, especially if you like romance and your significant other likes mysteries and you both are killer at guess who um um not guess who but what is it the game clue clue huh ah, kidding i knew the game the whole time yeah kidding um if you're killer at the game clue the, the perfect who done it um so we find out that that a local tavern owner's building was flooded because the pipes had burst because psh, it's cold and it's Vermont and it's snowing and buildings up there apparently are very old and they flood easily when the pipes burst because people don't know how to take care of them more in time. Mm. Um, so she goes to the end, sees that it's still slightly open and says, hey, can, we, can my tavern hold? It's like party here um i'll bring my bartender my cleaning crew and everything and daniel's like no absolutely not you cannot do that here so he offers to bartend because he feels challenged by the woman who says i got the best bartender no i'm the best bartender in this place so daniel fixes drinks they did not realize that he's the dead owner of the property which is very funny because his picture is like right there at the um 
in the foyer of the build, of the place in a news clipping article about him. Shut up, computer. <laughs> um, so they hold the annual Christmas party, and there the tavern owner is talking to Kate, and they find out that apparently Daniel's fiance was pregnant at the time that Daniel died and that she married his brother. Awkward! Dead ghost right here. Didn't realize any of this happened. Um, so, walked away. And at this point, is this is the point when Kate pretty much realizes, oh, snap. He is... Um, he's an actual person. He might be dead, but he was an actual person that had actual, actual feelings. And, um, he had an actual life, and this is a very sensitive subject for him. So they cross, so they get into, like, a little argument, and he asks her to leave. She doesn't leave. Instead, she goes down, because the tree comes back, and... She apologizes. He apologizes. He says, don't leave because I'm remembering things that I did not know or um, I did not remember before. You're really helping me out. I want you to stay. She apologizes for being, well, I'm pretty sure you can insert the word here, what she was being because she was. Um, and they make up, he says, there's a tree on your car, or what he said was, there's a tree on your automotive. Helps you get the tree down, helps you get the tree in the house, and they decorate the tree for Christmas. Um, and then later on that night, they find out there was another spirit in the house. Two spirits in the house. This whole time, everybody thought that it was just one spirit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It's two, two spirits. Turns out the second spirit is the one that's been haunting people and running them out of the house. For selfish reasons. To tell you the selfish reasons, that was for the complete third act of the film. Um, so... I'm going to leave that alone because I've just basically spoiled the rest of the movie for you. But I really didn't go into too much detail. I just, here and there, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let you watch it. Let you figure it out for yourself. Um, so, they figure out that the second ghost is the one that is haunting the house and scaring off potential buyers, investors, and appraisers because he doesn't want the end sold. He, he feels like if it's sold, then things are going to happen, and things are going to happen, and things and things and things and things and things. Um, so, this is basically what you're watching. You're watching a movie about a workaholic woman who is constantly lonely for Christmas because she never has any Christmas plans. She's never really been in love. She's never been married. She's afraid of falling in love. And then... You're watching her take this job at an inn where this 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 is being haunted by this really really smoking hot ghost. I mean, he the, this ghost can come haunt me. Okay, I mean I'm right here. You can it's Christmas time. You can haunt me because you like very hot and everything. So um so the ghost starts to fall in love with her. Wait, what? Yeah. The ghost is falling in love with her, too. Follow me here. Um, and as we're solving this mystery, you can tell that they're getting closer and closer and closer with each other, and they're falling more and more in love with each other, and it's very weird. Um, you meet Kate, like first you see Daniel and how he's and how he dies at the beginning of the movie and then you don't see Kate on a very comedic breakup date 
it's hilarious. I think it's more funny that more funny the guy's reaction to her to him breaking up with her because she's like, Oh good. He's like, What? Um and then you see these two lonely souls come together because Daniel is a haunted, angry ghost who stays at this end and she's just this woman that throws herself in the work instead of finding someone to be with. They find each other, they fall in love. It's it's a TV movie made for a lifetime in Hallmark. Do not take this with a serious cinematic anything. Take it with a very cutesy hot cocoa curl up with your love and laugh at the sheer stupidity of the entirety of the movie itself type thing. It's one of those things that you just should not take seriously. Do not critically analyze this movie at all. It's it's hilarious. Like the entire thing. Yes, it's romantic. It's a mystery, but it overall it's hilarious with the fact that all the campy, cheesy, lifetimey movie things that go on in this in this film. Um, it's really fun to watch, and it, it it actually is kind of romantic and sentimental and sweet and stuff. And yes, it's about the holidays, so sometimes holiday movies are cheesy, and you have to just go along with it. Um, this is a really long video so far, but we'll make it work. Um, so you know, just. Do your holiday shopping, get your tree up, bake cookies, do whatever you gotta do, and then just sit back, relax, Netflix, and chill with this movie. This movie is wonderful. I'm giving it, out of my little star rating system here, I'm giving it a boop, 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 four stars. Because it's campy, it's cheesy, it's holiday, it's romantic -y, and it's exactly what you should expect from a TV movie. It's no so no cinematic quality whatsoever. It's a freaking TV movie. Take it with a grain of salt and just have fun with it. So it's gonna get four stars. Awesome sauce! Have you seen this movie? If you have, what was your favorite part of the movie? What didn't you like about the movie? What was what was something that you wish could happen in the movie? Do you think that did you figure it out like instantly after you met all the characters? Were you sitting there going, he did it, he did, he did it, and like this was a game of clue? Um, would you watch this with your with your loved one? Would you watch it with your family members? Um, let me know in the comments and while you're down there let me know what movie you want me to review next it does not have to be a holiday movie it can be any movie whatsoever i will watch it i will review it i will tell you what i like what i don't like and you know you'll see my lovely little rating system again and and also 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 while you're down there telling me your thoughts and feelings and all this other kind of stuff Hit that subscribe button because I make new content, I make new videos, I'm going to try to put out a new review every week. Every week I'm going to try to put out a new review. Um, when, um, Mondays and Wednesdays I'm going to try to put out a new review um, or just something that is related to what I do because short films take a while to film and I want content on my channel to keep you guys coming back and waiting for more. So, um, click the subscribe button, click the bell because I will be putting out new movie reviews Mondays and Wednesdays and my short films may pop up on the, on the channel sporadically, especially since I'm going to be starting film school in January, hopefully. Um, click the click the little bell so you get your notifications when I do post something new on this channel because it's going to be awesome and lit in air. Then, also, share. Share with your friends. I have a Patreon page. Please support my channel. Um, this will help me generate more content, more quality content for your eboos. And 
short films and all that other lovely stuff that I want to do for this channel. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all that other good stuff. Um, it really helps me out. Also, your views and subscriptions help me out so much. And so do your comments. It's like awesome sauce. Um, and I hope that you guys have a lovely, lovely start to your Christmas. I know everyone is out shopping and going crazy decorating and cooking and visiting family and friends and everything this holiday season. Be safe out there. Um, and also, along with... Uh, and then with all that, please check out my vlog channel. It's in the link in the description below so you can see what my daily life is like uh, in just this crazy mixed-up world that I live in. Um, because that channel definitely needs some love, too. Um, and check out my merch. I'm probably not going to have much merch or merch at all this Christmas season. But I'm working on it, and I'm working on stuff for the new year. Working all kinds of stuff for the new year. Things are happening, and it's going to be awesome and amazing. So you have to click the subscribe button on this channel and the vlog channel, and come back, and it's going to be just a freaking amazing, stop! amazing what's happening everywhere in Wonderland. So as I leave you now, I leave you with these kind words. Be kind, be brave, be awesome. I love you, Wonderland. One love. Doki Doki. Mwah. See you next time.